I witnessed a car accident that happened in front of me. Uh, I was the first one to come out of the car and walk over and kind of flag people down and you know call 911. And I kind of realized in that moment as the police came and fire came that maybe public safety is something that I want to do. It, it is honestly the greatest job in the world. And you're gonna hear any firefighter, any paramedic, they're gonna tell you that it's the greatest job in the world. And for those of us that have done it before, that have had the luxury of doing the job, we just want other people to experience it. I had spoken with one of the recruiters at Rockford Fire who got me in contact with Chad. Um, and I had already had my bachelor degree at the, at the time. So all I had to do was take my EMT, uh, go through their Rock Valley Academy, and then I had a couple of courses. It's been great, honestly. I mean, uh, from the EMT class to the Fire Academy and all the classes in between, uh, I've learned a little something from all of them, and it's definitely uh, built my skills around everything in the fire service. So the program is um, it's an Associate Applied Science. It's a two-year program, uh, and then within that program, a student will come in uh, with, with virtually no, no training or experience at all, come in as what we call green, without having any experience in the, in the fire and emergency services world. Um, and we'll educate them through uh, their EMT coursework and through their basic operations firefighter coursework, that's certification for the state of Illinois, um, and then finish out their two-year program with an Associate of Applied Science in Fire Science. Uh, so ultimately then you graduate with your EMT National Registry Certificate, which then can be used to get an Illinois license you come out with your basic operations firefighter certification, which means you are certified as a firefighter in the state of Illinois and with your two-year degree. The folks that go through the program have a leg up just understanding what goes into this business, if you want to call it business, based upon their experiences in the classes. Obviously there's pathways if you have zero experience to get into fire departments, but overall if you have a little bit of background, your entry into a full-time career spot is gonna be better and easier on, this, on the individual. When we're going up to a house fire, I know now that if there are two windows above each other, we're looking at a balloon frame house, so that makes a difference in where we place the ladder, where we kind of our operation goes, where we're looking at to go, and it all came from learning the information that is planned for you here. You're with the same small core group of people as you go out and go through these classes and so you build friendships and you do get exposed to that camaraderie. All the instructors and uh, teachers are really laid back, easy going guys. I mean most of them are all firefighters too so uh, you can relate really well with them. Uh, when you're doing these classes everybody's about helping each other out um, so everybody gets through it at the same time and the main goal is to learn something that you can carry with you in your career. Honestly, I think the thing that we do the best of is, and this is what I try and tell my instructors on a regular basis, is we need to give the students the extra. Because you can acquire a lot from reading a book. And, and we, we expect our students to, to live up to that standard of meeting that expectation of whatever uh, the, the national and the state requirements are. But the instructors and myself, we try and give them the extra that we've been able to acquire through our experience. The things that you're not going to learn from reading a textbook. The real street kind of things. The, this is how the job actually works kind of stuff. And I think they come out with a pretty level head. They come out with an understanding of what the expectations are. So when they walk their first step into the firehouse, they know how to conduct themselves. They know what's expected of them. And, and oftentimes, most times, um, we feel that they, they're ready to go.